Hey everybody, this is Leland from ThemeLab.com and uh, in this video I'll be showing you why you shouldn't download themes from random sites you find in Google. So, uh, most people search for WordPress themes and let's just assume you're skipping over WordPress.org which is a safe place to get WordPress themes and let's go to the next site down which is WordPressThemesBase.com Okay, uh, and let's just take a look at what's in the code in this first Studio Press Red download, which has no relation to Studio Press Company, by the way. And uh, okay, let's open this really quick. And a lot of encrypted code is hidden in the footer file, but it can technically be like anywhere. In a, and uh, let's take a look at the footer. Okay, as you can see, this is all encrypted code. I don't even know what it does, but it's safe to assume that this isn't something that you would want on like in the footer of your site and you should definitely avoid any theme that has this kind of code in the footer or anywhere really. And okay. So uh let's take a look at the second site below wordpress.org which is themes number 2 wp.com. And uh Okay, let, let's see the channel theme. This looks familiar. I think it's actually from another website, but uh, and they probably just took it from there. Yeah, let's open this up. Wow, uh, support.txt. It's kind of unusual for like a random theme site, but it looks like this is from themejunkie.com, even though that. Uh, wasn't from Theme Junkie, it was from another site. So, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the footer file again. And this looks relatively normal, I don't see any encrypted code in here. But if you look in the functions.php file, and all the way at the bottom, there's a nice little hidden line down here with another base64 encrypted line of code. So, uh, just to prove that like these kind of sites take themes from other sites and um, just kind of add their own code to it. I'm going to go to themejunkie.com and take a look at the original channel theme. Yeah, someone just sent me a tweet. Anyway, there's the channel free theme page. And I'll go ahead and download this theme and see if the same code is in the functions.php file. And I'm guessing it's not functions, uh, whoops, it's the header, uh, functions.php, oh uh, look, it's it's not there, so if you want to get a safe theme, make sure you get it from the source. Now just to kind of further prove my point, I'm going to go to the next theme down, or the next theme site down, and just download the first theme available from topwpthemes.com. And let's go to the footer. Once again, completely encrypted with like three lines of this stuff. Who knows what it does? And okay, just one more. I think you get the point by now, but this is WPThemes360.com. I'm just going to download this first one available here. Alright, it's downloading now. And once again, in the footer.php file, everything's encrypted. Just, I don't even know what to say. This is just a really, a practice that you want to avoid. You don't want to use any theme with this kind of stuff in it. Just use a different theme. There are tons of themes out there with uh, that are safe to use. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you are informed about this, that you really shouldn't be trusting Google to find your free theme sites or whatever. It's really not safe, and you should check them out thoroughly before uploading them at all to your blog. And uh, thanks for watching.